Hi kids. Now let's understand the meaning and nature of planning kids. Oh Annie, she has invited us to her cake shop. She runs a cake shop. That looks amazing. Now she further says, when I initially started my business, I too did planning. You guys must be thinking why. Well, let's see why did she do planning. Kids, because the planning is a foremost, that is most important, fundamental, that is necessary and the important function of management. Planning ke bina hum kuch bhi kar sakte hai, nahi kar sakte. Business planning ke bina chali nahi sakta. For doing anything in business, we require what? Planning. Since planning is a starting point, it helps to visualize the future problems and keep the management ready with the possible solution. Today, we are making plans. We know that we can come here and we can have a problem. So, make sure the solutions are ready. That's how they are planning when we talk about the business. Planning is necessary to ensure, that is to safeguard or protect the proper utilization of human and non-human resources. Human as an employee, non-human assets, ho gaya, machinery, ho gaya, raw material. Ho gaya. Planning is karna so that human resources ka or non-human resources ka proper utilization. Ho. It is a detailed programming regarding future course of action. It is rightly said, well plan is half done. Now let's study the definition by Jane Stoner. Planning is a process of establishing goals and a suitable course of action for achieving those goals. Please by heart this definition, pakka learn karna. Let's understand the first nature of planning that is goal oriented. Planning is made to achieve the desired objective of business. It can be goodwill, it can be profit, it can be customer satisfaction, it can be brand, it can be growth. So planning is done to achieve the objectives of organization or business. It provides the desired direction for achievement of the goals. Now here as you can see it acts as a base to other functions of organizing. As you can see the kitchen girls are organizing the cake at the display. Then they are staffing. Annie ni unlo ko staff kia. Correct person at the correct time at the correct designation. Directing. Let's see how it goes. Nicole keep this cake ahead and then follow the same pattern. Now Annie is directing Nicole. Let's see the coordination among the kitchen girls. You manage the display by the time I will look after the kitchen. They are coordinating the work among themselves. And then further controlling is nothing but keeping a check. Annie is saying display looks lovely Nicole. She was keeping a check on her. Whether she is doing things fine or no. The third point to talk about is pervasive function. Planning is required at the all level of management and in all the departments of organization. Har level pe planning zaruri hai. Aisa hai kya middle level pe planning zaruri nahi hai? Of course not. Har department ko plan out karna padta hai unka cheez. Without planning things are next to impossible then. The top level may be more concerned about the planning for the organization as the whole. Now she further says, now kids, as I am the owner of the business, I am more concerned about the output as whole. Of course, usko dukh zyada lagega agar loss hoga to. So she will be more concerned about the output. Whereas the middle level may be more specific in the departmental plans and the lower level for the implementation of the same. Fourth point talks about future oriented. Planning is always done by keeping in mind the future needs. Profit, goodwill, brand, these are future needs of a business. Ka. Goals can be achieved only if planning is done with proper thinking. Now here she says, now kids, goodwill, efficiency and profit are my future business goals. Wo bhi future predict kar rahi hai apne business ke liye ki usko kya chahiye. She needs goodwill, she needs efficiency in her business. She needs profit. These are her desire when she talks about her business. Now planning is a continuous process. It is never ending due to its dynamic that is changing nature. Plans are also prepared for a specific period of time and at the end of that period plans are subjected to revaluation if any changes are required and review that is keeping a check in the light of new requirements and changing condition. 
if a particular goal is achieved another targets are set again planning process will be begin aaj ek file khatam kar diya ek project khatam kar diya bas baithne ka abhi nahi we need we need to work on some other project uske liye naya planning shuruaat karna padta hai to planning is the continuous process now sixth point says involves options and decision makings a manager has to take decision and select the best option depending upon the requirement and availability resources in the organization now she further says kids i'm so confused should i introduce chocolates or marshmallows into my business now he or she has to take a decision among the options so she further comes to a conclusion that is well i think i should go for chocolates any time chocolates are better rani Seventh point says it involves intelligence, imagination, and creative thinking. That is intellectual process, mental process. Hey, kitchen team ne bhi kaisa innovative kam kiya tha. P K K order ke time yaad aaya kids. Dekho waha. A manager can prepare a sound plan only if he has a sound judgment, foresight, and imagination. Eighth point says it is a dynamic function. It is a changing nature. कभी भी कुछ भी हो सकता है. Since future is unpredictable, कभी भी future में कुछ भी हो आज हम लेकिन वो हो या ना हो अपने को पता है क्या? नहीं, it's unpredictable. Planning must provide enough scope to cope up with the changes in the market demand, competition, government policy, etc. Market demands any time in increase sale कभी भी बढ़ रहा है कभी भी घट रहा है competition आज हमारे competitors ने discount दिया है sale दिया है buy one get one का policy लगाया है government policy हो गया that is tax कैसा भी policy इसका change हो गया so ये changing है ना environment change होता रहता है based on that planning भी change होगा under the change circumstances the original plan of the action must be revised and updated to make it more practical as i said agar plan a nahi chala to plan b ready hona chahiye the ninth point says is designed for efficiency planning leads to accomplishment of objective at the minimum possible cost now here she says here kids i always go for wholesale market for shopping for my business एफिशिएंसी आई एट मिनिमम कॉस्ट तो वो क्या करती है होलसेल मार्केट से बाय करती है इट अवॉइड्स वेस्टेज हियर किचन गर्ल सेज वी हैव स्टॉक्ड मोर ऑफ चॉकलेट एंड एक्सपायरी डेट इज नियर देन फर्दर एनी गिव्स अस नाउ फर्दर एनी गिव्स अ कंक्लूजन सेइंग ओ वी कैन मेक चॉको चिक कुकीज एंड कीप इट फॉर सेल एफिशिएंसी ताकि वो चॉकलेट्स वेस्ट ना हो कुकीज बना दो ताकि हम लोग बेच दे it avoids wastage and ensures the optimum utilization of available resources like men money material method and machine tenth point talks about is planning is a basis of control planning and control are two sides of same coin without planning controlling activity becomes baseless whereas without controlling planning becomes meaningless exercise kids planning precedes controlling that leads controlling and controlling succeeds that is achieves the planning i hope all the 10 points are clear kids keep on revising i'll see you in the next module till then take care kids bye